Good day, everyone. Welcome to this week's edition of the Vice Squad. My name is Ryan. I'm your Wednesday host. And this week, we're going to tie this little peacock quill merger with a CDC puff on the top. Um, and as a reminder, this show is brought to you by the Anadromas Fly Company and Fly Life Co. Uh, you can visit the uh, our store, which is fishingandoutdoors.ca for Canadian residents and .net for international and u.s residents uh, you can find all their fantastic gear materials supplies everything on the store um like i said this week we're going to tie this little emerger fly uh i thought uh i, I came across these at uh, the other day and and i thought you know what i've never tied with them and i bought them and uh here we are makes a pretty cool looking little bug anyway in the vise we're going to put an r7 caddis hook this is size 14. Uh, these are Fly Life Co's hooks. It's a nice barbless hook. These are nice and solid and fantastic to tie on. We're going to use some 70 denier white UTC, which will start up near the front there somewhere. And I'm going to run that down, snip our tag out. I'm going to run that down, not right into the bend, but close to it. Next, for our body, like I said, this is stripped peacock. This is dyed yellow. So I've just taken a full peacock curl like that, and I've taken a white eraser like that, and I just rub it along the desk and uh, on both sides. Sometimes you have to work at them a bit, but you can strip those quills. Pretty easy. They're a little finicky. They can be a little uh, brittle, but if you just take your time, it's, uh, it's not impossible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie that in just at the very bottom end there. And just gently tie it up like so. And then I'm gonna run my thread back to the top and then back down just about an eye width back which is where we'll tie our CDC puff in which looks like that out of the bag and you can see I got a short fiber there we'll get rid of all the short ones and I have found that if you sort of just work them and preen them back and get all the fibers sort of situated and, and point in the right way and all lay in properly. This seems to uh, puff up just a little bit better. So what we'll do is we'll just put a few wraps in there and then we'll just gently pull that back and we'll put some Sort of damming wraps up in the front. And that'll get that to stand up like that. As for the size of this, it's totally up to you. That might be a little long. Really, maybe you maybe want to be about a quarter of that shorter. For the sake of video, I'm not going to worry about untying it. But what I'm going to do now that that's tied in and set, I'm going to just sort of gently push it down and I'm going to take my scissors and run it on an angle down the hook shank. And what that'll do is it won't just be a blunt drop off where we tie this in. So as we run our thread back, if we're just sort of gentle, if you pull up on your way through, it won't, it'll, it'll be less likely to spin that CDC around and it'll sort of keep the shape of that body a little more uniform without having weird lumps and bumps in it. Next, what I'm gonna do is just take my thread and just build up a little tapered body. Here we go, so I'm pretty happy with that. Next, what we'll do, and the way I do this is I, because I have the rotary vise, I like to turn it so that the hook is sort of upside down almost. And I find it's just a little easier to get these first few initial wraps started when it's 
sort of upside down, but what we're gonna do is just use touching wraps, working our way up the hook. And once you get it started, I found that you can go back to having the hook sitting normally. So we'll just take our time working forward. Just bear in mind these quills can be quite fragile and brittle. If you clip it on the hook point, they definitely are, have, are likely gonna break on you. All right, I'm gonna leave just a little bit of space behind the puff, just cause we're gonna put a little bit of dubbing in there. We don't need to run it all the way up. So once we've come up as far as we want to and we've got it tied in, we'll just snip the remainder of that quill out. And just clean that up a little and then I'm gonna just, for the next step, move my thread to the front behind the eye just cause I don't want uh, UV glue on it, which is what you're gonna do next, which is, uh, this is Solera's Bone Dry. So I'm gonna put just a, a light coating on the quill. It definitely makes the segmentation pop out, but it's also definitely gonna help add with durability. You don't want it too, too thick because it will have a tendency just to crack and break. That's a nice light even coat. And we'll just cure that with our UV light. Like so. Next we'll just unwind our thread. And we're gonna grab some dubbing, just a little bit of dubbing behind the puff there. This is um, Scarlet. Here's your sub from Vicuna. You want just a tiny little pinch, you don't need much. Just a tiny little noodle. And we'll just cover up those thread wraps. Maybe we'll put a wrap or two in front just to keep that CDC puff standing up. Grab our whip finish tool. We'll put a few turns behind the eye. And that's that. Pretty simple and easy little pattern, in my opinion. I think it's gonna fish quite well. I'm actually looking forward to the spring uh, when I can get out and uh, actually fish a few of these. With winter coming, that's gonna be tough where I live, but but yeah, at any rate, peacock quill emerger with a CDC puff wing. Pretty fun. At any rate, uh, as I mentioned off the top, um, if you visit our store, which is fishingandoutdoors.ca for Canadian residents.net for our international and American friends, you can visit uh, both our sponsors on there, on their stores. That's uh, Ayana Dramas Fly Company and Fly Life Co. And uh, you can check out all their stuff along with all sorts of other stuff. The one thing I did forget to mention off the top is we do have a contest running right now, uh, which runs for another three weeks, I do believe. Um, if you haven't entered, uh, please go check out the uh, Vice Squad's new Instagram page. Uh, you can uh, click the link, tr link tree through to uh, find the YouTube channel and get all the other information on there. Um, yeah, and if you are new to the channel as well, please hit the uh, bell uh, up at the top here and uh, you won't miss any of our upcoming content. We'll see you next week, everyone. Thanks again.